Hope he won't be disappointed. Oh, all that of Easter and after says is pretty. I seen one once in Custer. She was a looker. 250 pounds of American beauty. That's a lot of beef. Oh, yeah, we call her Queen of Buffalo. <laughs> Wait for you, Bill. Draw our stuff. Deal my Doc. Looks like we're gonna be having some female company. As in my space. Ain't no problem with them hill in their valleys either, Bill. There'll be plenty of hoodoo shoot when she gets to town. It'll be clean out of Malahide. I wasn't gonna say nothing, Bill. Call Phyllis straight. You're mighty Theseus. Say, what's abridgment have you for us this evening? What mass? What music? How shall we beguile the lazy time, if not with some delight? There is a brief which sports are right. Uh, see what your majesty will see first. The battle of the sun cars be sung by an Athenian unit to the hearts. We'll none of that. That have I told my love and glory of my kinsman Hercules. The riot of the tipsy Bacchanals. Mourning in the death of learning. Uh, that is an old device, and was played when I from Thebes came last to conqueror. Uh, T is brief singing of your young Pyramus and his love to this be. Very tragical. Merry and tragical, tedious and brief. That is hot ice and wondrous strange snow. How shall we find concord of this discord? A play there is, my lord, some ten words long, which is as brief as I have known the play. <laughs> but by ten words it is too long, which makes it tedious, for in all the play there is not one word apt, not one player fitted. And tragical, my noble lord, it is, for therein this pure uh, stuff kill himself therein. Which I must admit, when I saw rehearsed, made mine eyes water. But by more merry tears, the passion of loud laughter never wept. What are they that do play it? Hard-handed men that work here in Athens, who never labored in their minds till now, but have toiled in this unbreathed memory in the same play. And we will hear it. Yeah! No, no, my noble lord, it is not for you. I've seen it through and it is nothing, nothing at all will let you find sport in their intents. Extremely stretched and conned with cruel pain to do you service. Cream ah! <laughs> of society. Angie the Ox. Society Max. Rusty Charlie. Liver Lips Louie. Hey, there's a horse all the way from Brooklyn. Pardon me, I'm very bad with names. Might tell me where you're from? East Cicero, Illinois. Yeah, what do you do then? I'm a scoutmaster. Don't ever help my mother across the street. Look. Looks a lot like a male chorus. From Blossom, buddy. What's the occasion? Well, um, it's a party. Yeah, what kind of party? Nathan's getting married. The very best in color slides, be sure to insist on the new Kodak. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a very big shoot -hoo for you. And first, the young man you've all been waiting to see. As you know, in about 14 hours, he'll be off to play a very special engagement. But before he goes, he wants to give one lucky young lady just one last kiss. So tonight, we take you to Sweet Apple, Ohio, where the very typical family, Mr. and Mrs. Harry McAfee, and their children, Randolph and Kim, are about to bid a fond farewell to a very typical American soldier, Conrad Birdie!
got a family to feed, you'll make a fine Sunday post. I can't get out! 